Colwyn Acher Narvon with commentary in English for this afternoon's game. If you're on Sky Plus, Freeview or Virgin Media, it's on the red button. On a Sky Q or TiVo box, go to settings and use the audio selection option. Any problems, just get in touch with our viewers hotline. Joy the game. Croeso, na chi air, gair bach, ond gair sy'n gallu gwneud gymaint o wahaniaeth. Nen wedig os yw'r croeso yn gynnes ac o'r galon. Felly croeso i sgorio a gem gyntaf tymor newydd. Ac i glwb pêl drod by Colwyn, croeso i uwch gynghrair Cymru. Tlws pen campwyr Cymru, wedi hen ymgartrefu yn neuadd y parc. Ond mae'r meibion a fratlon yn curo ar y drws, yn barod i adal ei marc. Yn tirieithwyr brwm a dyra no, yn ysu i gablasu. Bydd rhai yn brwydro i ddal ei tir, cyn bryn hawn byth goniadwy. Bydd rhai yn gweithio'n ddygyn, yn gosod gwreiddiau i'w angori. Torri calonau gerfyr i'r graig, creu atgofion i'w trysori. Ond weithiau, rhaid dymchwel y wal os am gael llechen lan. Cae y glo ar un benod ac adeiladu o newydd fan. Hafan dros dro neu yn barhaol. Ac er bod rhai yn hedfan yn eith, mae dychwelyd môr at yn iadol. Mae yn ein gwaed, mae yn ein tîr, ond oes unman yn debyg i adra. Tan ddawr ach tydion i esgyn eto, a siglo'r hoch sy'n iadol. Chi'n barod am dymor arall croeso i fai Colwyn. Bai bai Colwyn oedd i'r un adeg i'n yr clybion a thwrth fod ymuno ar cyngrair cenedlaethol pan ddechreuodd y cyfan. Dros 30 flynedd yn ôl, ond mae nhw yn ôl yng Nghyngreiriau Cymru ac yn y brif adran erbyn hyn. Mae'r cefnogwyr di heidio yma, pnawn yma, ar gyfer i gem gyntaf erioed yn uwch Cyngrair Cymru, JD, am olygfa. Yn ddeirydol ac o ran y maes hyfryd yma hefyd. Bai Colwyn, Cair Narfon, y gem gyntaf rhwng y clybiau yma ers dros 30 o flynyddoedd croeso mawr at hynny. Mae'n hyfryd cael bod fa. Owain Teddy Jones yn cadw cwmni i fi. Mae'n gem fawr, y dorf yn i fawr hefyd, Owain. Fai mor arwydd y cael i'w hyn i gyd i'r clwb ac i'r gynghrair efallai. O ti go be, mae'n ddiwrnod anferth i'r clwb. A gefallai bod ni ddim yn sylwi tan ni'n troi fyny. Ni'n cael sgwrs sy'n fawr ysgrifennu y clwb oedd yn deud. Efallai mae hon ydy gen fwyaf hanes y clwb. Felly mae yna'n deud y cyfan. Ac o ran y gyngrair, dwi'n meddwl bod ni'n clywad yn aml. Efallai bod bobl yn diflasio fe rhywun ni'n clybiau. Pan dyna ni'n caru bath ffres fel yma. Mae rhaid i ni werth y rogi. Mae rhaid i ni fwy'n hau. A dyna ni'n edrych ymlaen i weld pa fath o egni mae'r clwb yma yn gallu ddod i'r gyngrair. O beth sy'n tarw chi? Sori, dros mil o bobl yma, stadiwm a hanner, cyfle i sterau gwych, allai fod yn dymor diddorol fan hyn. Yn dia, a dwi'n meddwl dros y tymor a dwytha, pan ti'n gweld cynarfon yn cael dyrchafed nôl i'r gyngrair, y bari yn un arall, lot o gefnogwyr, mae o'n grêt. Sef dwi'n gallu cario mlaen ac cael hynna tymor ar ôl tymor. Dyna fydd y dasg i bai Colwyn. Aros i ddechrau, ond mae'n addigon yn y garfan dwi'n teimlo i fod yn gyffyrddus ac yn gwthio am y chwech i chael hynny. Ie, yeah, bydd y rheolwr yn ei gwthio nhw. Dim am heieth am hynny, chi'n gyfarwydd o fe, mae'n siŵr i'n o'r enwe, cyfarwydd yn y gyngrau yr yma. Sydd i annill bopeth yn ei gyfnod fel chwraewr dar Saint Ian Newydd. Steve Evans yn siarad y sioned. You were so dominant in the Cymru North last season, of course, so there will be a level of expectation, but do you even begin to set goals at this stage? Yeah, listen, we know the step up from the Cymru North to the Cymru Prem is a huge step. You know, when when under no illusions that the task in hand is, is a big task. Um, but, you know, we've added um, some experience, you know, but we've got also got some good young youth 
you know, some legs in there as well. Um, and we're structured and, and we'll be ready, you know, and like I just said, we'll embrace it. We know, you know, we can't jump from the bottom to the top straight away and we have to build brick by brick, um, which we're doing on and off the field. Um, and today I think will be a really good in indicator of where we are, where we think we are, where we, where we really are, you know, and hopefully it is where we think we are. Um, and like I said, really, really looking forward to the challenge. Steve, do you have a public? Yeah. Yeah, but in the role on Gwell sits Manunum Toppy at Gangra. What's the Scott Fopable have it? Obviously, dig with him at Rossa Tom Hore, Dwetha, Machiam Blanavoid by Colwyn. In our irate eight, the Mishamino at Gangra, Canada, Thor, no widow than Ian Dovey looking dig now, then a new Gunkin Pimlanev. Oh, I'm more can hear him in your own, isn't he? Indeed. Do you want to ask the Pansin Dodi Rubath Newid, Kungre Newid? I'm going to defend you in there, couple of another. It's both quite and sure, baby Visco. Man, I want sick crew. Man, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to take a path and a forego with the middle. At the Latin Aradeg, the number of brush up of it, a tavli, Kavansum, and the Varian. At the Naninion, again, the Heavy, I'm a Tumor Newid, ma. He, Manu, Manu, could you back in? Apprehensive with another guy, uh, Sisnag, um, and on a to mind to ensure that Tibron and a Vidigolith Gantana, a goal Gantar Tumor with an Unia. With Canal Von and Gavithia, but need them and dig with Heavy, Betham Wedich, a gang rider, Thomas in Von Dig with Penothos and Mada, three of the Noswen, Nero Tinkulio, gave him a wine, Saint Tina with an Ishaman, Kekona, Betham Dani. He had the Nako, some real better the Pim Minute, on Wedding a Saint Just and three that Kekona, a mint, Ben Ben and Herbino, on the Wedding, just three that or on Pamor Slick, I don't know. Ar ôl i campau yn Ewrop, di sgôr, hol ffordd yn fynd pont y pryd, Zach Jones ar, ar bediad yna, Owain Jones yn dal i Ben. Owain arall, Owain Tudor Jones i gyda ni. Beth am hon, yn ellod pen y bont yn y dre newydd, ond byddwn nhw ddim eisiau gweld y gol yma, gan Rob Evans yw rhoi di hun, ar fi'n credu bod angen cael gair da Wichely yn y gol hefyd, ond dwy i Chris Venables yn y gem yna. Symudiad slic a met Cardydd yn ennill o gol i ddim yn ebyn am yr ystwyth. Elliot Evans yn cael ei ddanfon o'r cae ar ôl sgorio hefyd. Dyma ôl sgorio, ond yn hwyrach yn y gem ar bala yn ennill yn hwyr yn erbyn y bari. Iwan Roberts, yn chi enw da, am ymosodwr yn sgorio yn hwyr iawn y trefwynt fechu. Er, penwth nos agoriadol, dim byd mor anysgwyl â hynny? Na, oedd gwylio'r seintia yn sgorio chwech yn mynd i fod yn bryder i gweddu chi gyngrair. Dwi'n meddwl Dim byd y goliaeth ond pont y pridd uh, efallai yn syniau am bach un y meddwl ar ôl hwlffordd yn Ewrop fysa, hon am fydd y goliaeth hawdd, dod i ddim, pont y pridd i gwario, dwi'n meddwl fyddwn nhw'n fygythiad yn sicr i wella ar i tymor nhw tymor dwytha. Yeah, Dyna'r un i arni y penwthnos agoriadol, pawb yn asesu i gilydd i weld beth sydd i ddod dros y wthnosau ar mesoedd nesa a beth am y digwyddiadau fan hyn y mae Colwyn. I gem gynta nhw erioed yn uwch gynghrair Cymru JD. Dros fil o gefnogwyr yma, am barod am y gic cyntaf, a bydd i'n fyw ar S4F ond ddewn ni'n ôl wedi'r egoel.
Croes yn ôl atyn ni am o lygfa'r fordyr gogledd Cymru yn ei holl o goniant o hen golwyn drawt ag at Llandudno ond clwb i'l droi bai colwyn sy'n cael ein sylw ni pnawn ma. Yn ewch gyngredd Cymru am y tro cyntaf erioed wedi dychweled i chwarae yng Nghyngreiriau Cymru dros fil o gefnogwyr yma ar gem gyntaf yn erbyn Carnarfon o bawb am achlysur. Cof eich bod na sylwebeth? Yn Saesneg ar y botwm coch hen ffrindiau yn barod amdani. Sylwebeth yn Saesneg ar y botwm coch yn sylwebu yn Gymraeg. Da yw'n nes i weld yn faes y Steddfod. Yr y Steddfod Cenedlaethol i'r Cyngraer Cenedlaethol. Ac am y naw mis nesaf, byddwn nhw'n troedio meysydd tra gwahanol. Malcolm Allen a Nick Parry. Good afternoon and welcome to Llanelian Road in Colwyn Bay where the Seagulls welcome Carnarvon Town for their opening fixture of the 2023-24 Cymru Premier season. Stephen Evans and his squad secured promotion from the Cymru South North last season and they open up their first venture in the top flight of Welsh domestic football live on Scorio against the Covies this afternoon. Alongside me this afternoon in a beautiful afternoon's weather, Tommy Morgan. Yeah. Good afternoon, Mark. Good afternoon, everybody. All set for the opening game of the season and a warm welcome for Colwyn Bay into the Welsh Premier League and I'm sure they'll be looking to get off to a flying start this afternoon. Well, I have to say, Tom, we've done some wonderful games in the last couple of weeks watching the likes of Haverford West County, but there's a great atmosphere here this afternoon. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's made for a good game of open football this afternoon. You see the two lineups there? Yeah, I couple of new players either side, a couple of late players as well. Zach Clark being brought into Carnarvon, very late from Chester City. Yeah, Clark obviously he's joined on loan from Chester. Already been in the Welsh Premier League on loan from Chester. Just see the following Bay line up there. And, yeah. uh, important signing for them, I think. Danny Holmes will bring you know a lot of experience to the to the back four there. And vast I... experience and also the same vast experience in that Carnarvon team Tommy with the likes of Darren Thomas still going yeah absolutely a top quality player Darren Thomas you know he can make anything from nothing as they say so a lot on his shoulders this season Danny Gosser as well they would be looking you know for his experience in midfield as with Donoghue at left back as well you see there Nick Rushton over 250 appearances in the Welsh Premier League 89 goals Lastly, with Newtown, another good signing, I think, for Steve Evans. Absolutely, Tom. Very, very I, I, I would say that's one of the signings of the season, Nick Rushton, by the way. Yeah, absolutely. And there we see Zach Clark on loan last season at Flint Town United. Got a hat trick on his debut, six goals in nine games. So, can I be looking for him to spark them into action? in the forward line yeah and if there's one massive positive about Colwyn Bay and Barry Town coming back in this league they will bring crowds to this league as is seen this afternoon a expected attendance of 16 to 1700 Tom fantastic well really good atmosphere here Mark and the man to oversee it is there Bryn Markham Jones your favourite referee Mark absolutely the Claret and Blue Colwyn Bay, Carnarvon in a chain strip of yellow shorts and black tops. The Cymru Premier 2023-24 gets underway for Colwyn Bay and Carnarvon. Cyril, ball goes back to Cyril, goes back out. Turner, Ryan Edwards misguides his first one. Experienced Ryan Edwards there. Been around this league for a long time now, but yeah, great player. When he started out, remember when he started out, Tom say ten years ago when he was in TNS youth team and really looked a, a threat, you know, a real threat of going places. Oh, 
Rooney gets the throw into Gossett. Danny Gossett, great once again. I know I bring it up a couple of times, but to see Danny Gossett play. This is fantastic achievement from Dan Gossett. Hope That'll be a battle of the afternoon, Clark and Cyril. Thomas, Darren Thomas, loves the ball in front of him. Downs, Downs had a great season last year. Dion Donahue, by the look of it, Tommy, is playing as a left-back here this afternoon. Well, mae'n ddrwg dyn ni am y toriad yma yn y gwylion yn ni'n glas i adfer y rhaglen am un nôl at sgorio cyn gynted a phosib ar hoswch dyn ni. Well, feel about this game that it could be a firecracker of a game. Smart play by Downs, the fullback again. Liked him, liked him a lot when I saw him in a couple of cup games. Ball goes back inside to Ryan Woods. Has played for Colwyn Bay. Cyril gets ahead of down to Jones. Dan Jones drives forward. Creamer gets it wide. Hill. Hill off to Holmes. Danny Holmes bombing forward. Strong tackle in midfield from Mark Williams, he's obviously playing in midfield by the look of it it's a surprising one Tom to see Mark no, I think Williams Mark is uh, showing his bit of his age now, drop back into midfield, showing his experience there yeah definitely Hill again, uh, Jones by the way, Jones take the game, it'll be interesting to see whether Darren Thomas blow Steve Evans not too pleased with that pass yeah, setting his TNS standards at Colwyn Bay. TNS, by the way, started the season off in great goal scoring fashion. A 6 2 victory against Connors Key has to be the result of the weekend. Yeah, absolutely. And champions showing they're not going to give her that throne easily. Chance for Hill. Drives into the box. Can the cross come in early? Downs stands the cross up, not the greatest of crosses. Gossett clears his lines well. Strong win behind the home team. The addition, Tom, of Colwyn Bay and Barrytown. Could have we handpicked them? Two teams to come up. Yeah, absolutely brilliant, Mark. Both got a great fan base, and it's been shown here this afternoon. All ticket game here this afternoon. So, how many times over the last few seasons we've been crying out that these boys deserve fans to watch them, and it looks like they've turned up in great numbers here today. A little bit of an experience overrunning the ball. He goes to get on with it, crossing again. Chance. Oh, it comes off card right, and I don't think. He knew a lot about it, you know. No, it's flashed what, across the head of the big man. Tell you one thing, that's a pinpoint cross there. Rushing with a header. And like he said, whipped in there. I think he's going to go the tested woods there. Yeah, he got. He just didn't get enough on it, and that's why it flashed off the head. Of you and Cartwright for the corner. First corner of the afternoon. Can have and fans behind their goal. Great turnout from the Covies. Some big men out there, Tom, this afternoon. Austin, Cyril, six foot pluses. Creamer, in it goes. Thomas does well not to put his hand up. Strong tackle, very strong tackle. And the second tackle. Could be an early yellow here. Cyril runs him with a push. Danny Gossett fights back. Yeah, yellow card, early yellow card. Don't think you can argue, Dan. 
It's a strong tackle. Yes. There's a borderline red for me, that. And Cyril is not a happy chappy. Just seen it again here. Ooh, caught him out with his trailing leg, didn't he? Yeah, it was his trailing leg. Strong tackle. Davis says to Cyril, keep out of it. Early. A couple of little petty arguments. Just get the game going. It's got the derby atmosphere about it. Yeah, absolutely. One thing Danny Gossett didn't win is an early yellow card. He's received it there. Turner out there, Ryan Edwards out there as well. Edwards usually delivers a lovely ball. High line from Carnarvon right on the edge of their box. Goalkeeper trying to press him out. Turner whips it in. First header. Rushton. Great back heel from Rushton. Double back heel. All the skills are coming out here. Great cleaning up job from Davis there. That's great defending from the big man. But already raucous atmosphere here. First goal. So important. Tell you what, Dean Donahue has started well, Tommy. Now it's got all the qualities, Mark. Mark Williams in that holding role. Cartwright. Back to the big man, Ryan Austin. Six foot five, Ryan Austin. Mooney wins the flick. You can just see Tom in front of our eyes here. A lot of personal battles already. Five or six of them. You can just pick them straight away. Donahue and Hill will be one of them. Great ball inside. Downs. Bradley will have to track Downs. Downs with a great ball outside. Rushton pulls it back. Downs with a chance. Does he take it early? Oh, left-footed. Mark Williams gets in a good evasive tackle to really put him off. Evans wants to answer from the linesman about the tackle. Just does enough to put him off. Yeah, but there's a good counter-attack there by the B. Does Evans... Donner, you got caught out of position there. Rushton showing that a good footballer he is. Pulls the ball back there. Tell you one thing, that was a bit of a late tackle there. Edge of the box as well, that's why Stephen Evans is asking. It was, it was worth asking as well, Tom. Looking at the replay. Yeah, I think actually he did catch him with his trailing leg. Goalkeeper then, not very happy with it being played into his feet. Donahue. Williams. Yeah, there's going to be Danny Holmes. Will Danny Holmes join the early yellows? Or will his experience of this league get him away with it? You often see experienced no, he's players. Got, he's got yellow card, I think, has he? He's got it out? No. No. Oh, well, maybe he's put him back in his pocket. Yeah, and that's why he's asking. That's what the kind of a manager is asking for. You often see experienced players get away with early yellows, and the referees give the youngsters yeah. the yellows. It's just a trait. Donahue, back post will be the target, definitely. Ryan Austin, didn't get to him. Bradley challenging with Rushton. Gossett hooks it back in. Siddle with the first header. Clark in the box, can he get a shot off? Turner. Mooney keeps it in play. Turner having the lively tackle with Mooney again. Almost 50 50, 54 46. The possession stats. Yeah, it's pretty aggressive out there, Mark. Well, I'll tell you this now, Tom. Uh, the FAW or whoever appoints the referees have picked a good pick here this afternoon. He's an experienced referee, he doesn't suffer no uh, fooling. And this is the type of game who's going to need an experienced referee. Yeah, absolutely. Joe Smith delivers full length of the field. Ryan Woods just lets it out of play. First break in the game, really. 
and it's been a pretty frantic opening 11 minutes still carries the uh, main man target on him Darren Thomas wonderful player he may have uh, gone from the Lionel Messi of this league now to the Peter Pan of this league Darren how old does he know 37 it doesn't matter how old you are Mark as long as you're fit and you get around the pitch and he's got lots of qualities absolutely Ryan Edwards misguiding his pass but a pretty even start so far the Bay with most attacks yeah certainly look the more lively in the top third of the pitch uh, you were lucky enough yesterday Tom to be at the game Aberystwyth and Cardiff met fair result yes I'd uh, say just about deserved to win I was lucky enough to be at uh, Haverford West Friday evening watching Haverford West and Pontypridd. Point of peace was just about right there as well. Downs. Downs plays it inside. Gossett, key man, key man for Carnarvon. Tries to play it inside. It's a great play. Thomas. It's unusual for Thomas to release early. He usually likes to get a touch and run at people. Cheryl. Foul against. Yeah, Cyril just dwelled on the ball a little bit there. Yeah, Could have got caught actually. And they're, what they're trying to do, they're trying to release Downs as much as they can. So they're almost going to a three as often as they can. Downs inside. Tom Creamer. Downs again. I don't think uh, that Danny Goss is the only booking we're going to have this afternoon, Mark. I think it'll be quite a number of yellow cards. Cyril. Clark. Referee just has a quiet word. Colwyn Bay spent three seasons in the Cymru North. Champions last season. Hollywell, by the way, took them all the way. They had to go 25 games undefeated to win that title. So, excellent winners of the league. As were uh, Barry Town from the Cymru South, who have a new manager in charge now. Yeah. Downs, that's about his fourth cross of the day already. Great header away, Austin. Yeah, I think they maybe have targeted Dion Donoghue normally a centre back at left back all those crosses have come in from that side already absolutely right Tommy a three I think he's had from that 40 45 yard area and they've all been quality as well Turner goes up to take the corner plenty of big men in there Cyril starting on the near may peel off to the back Austin is marking Rushton or Clark marking Rushton first header hooked away Turner most probably take the next corner third corner of the afternoon so far for Coynarvon for Colwyn Bay commentators getting excited football season's back flat corner I think he's aiming at all the time for that near post good header away Jones. Smith gets a wide Edwards. I imagine that Colwyn Bay would try and play their way out with uh, Stephen Evans being a TNS player for 10 years, Tom. I'm yeah. sure, I, I was sure that he was going to try and get some sort of footballing system going. Well, you can definitely see there, looking to build up from the back, you know, through the thirds. Danny Holmes. Had such a great season for uh, the Nomads. A couple of seasons he was there the last couple of years. Just a clip of the ankles there. Turner he was, who caught uh, the midfielder. Downs the threat so far, he gets it again. 
inside, great touch, good interception. Yeah, Gossett read that really well. Yeah, I think Gossett will have to work doubly hard this afternoon. He's in there with Mark Williams. Another crossing from Downs, headed away this time by Cartwright. Chance. Oh, had to take the volley on there. It was a great one too. You know, Creamer. Holmes. That's must be about his fourth foul yes. of the afternoon already. And still no uh, chats even from the referee. Yeah, I'm sure that the players will remind him. Ryan Austin, six foot five to take the, the kick. Drives it wide, it's a good kick as well. Mooney, Ryan Edwards heads away. Decent clearance as well from the centre back. Chance. Williams, can he get there first? He went safe, Williams. It was the right idea. Didn't fancy that awkward back pass to the goalkeeper. Just no. put out the play. Good experience there from Williams. Did the right thing for me. Again, the ball goes up to the right-hand side. I think Sean Bradley's caught in two minds whether or not to go with Downs, but Downs gets it again. It's a great block by Williams. Definitely starting to take hold of this game, Colwyn Bay. Ball across, keeper lets it go, I think, straight behind. Took the gamble, the goalkeeper, I think. It was a calculated gamble, but paid off for him. Yes, just starting to dominate the game a little bit now. The Bay... Just as the cross comes short, I think. Again, Rushton, he drops off deep. He's done that for years, hasn't he, Rushton? Bit of a hurricane about him, yeah, dropping into the pockets. Creamer is impressing me, Tom, as well at the moment. He's getting around that box. You know, they've almost got, with the likes of uh, the right back, Downs getting on as well. They're almost playing with five men in the last third all the time. So they're out to score goals. Hill. Hill drives the shot over the bar it goes from Hill but the shot from the touchline from his managers was to get at him yeah certainly very positive opening 20 minutes from the home side Hill there cuts inside drives it but that was well over the cross but the crossbar getting plenty of verbal support players from Stephen Evans obviously uh, Played 14 times and scored a goal for Carnarvon. Bradley. Not the worst ball in defeat, but Dan Holmes again showing aggression. But the thing is, at the moment, Carnarvon just can't get out their own half. They're just playing long balls yeah. up to the strikers, and Danny Holmes is winning most of them, and Cyril. So they need to start trying to play through midfield if they're going to get anything out of this game. I'd have to agree with you so far, Tom. As Colin Bay pass around at the back, got to be a 50-50 here. Great tackle. He's on side as well. Clark, he was amongst the goals in the Cymru North. Can he get amongst the goals in the Cymru Premier? Great save from the goalkeeper. I would have liked to see him do more. He worked the chance. It was a great chance. Yeah, first of all, that 50-50 tackle on Cyril releases Zach Clark. And really, I think he should have done better. There are some. Look there, releases, he's got plenty of space there. And scuffs it. Big chance, Tom. Yeah, good opening. Whips it across the front, hooked away by Creamer. Donahue. First touch is good. Marsh used. Chases him down. It's a great touch as well by Bradley. Bradley. 
Bradley surrounded by three Clarton and blue shirts Rushton I tell you what Tom it's been entertaining so far plenty of action but in my mind if there's not a red card in this game I will be very surprised well, there's a lot of meaty tackles going in at the moment yeah Dion Donoghue there I mean strong words with the referee Bryn Markham Jones Carnarvon fans getting excited here behind the goal to our left there's a no head was there is it Scorio on Monday evening highlights of this match alongside the action and excitement of the weekend's matches from the JD Cymru Premier if you happen to miss it there's a repeat on Tuesday evening at 6.30 goals galore it's a great header from Mooney Cyril gets there first Rushton Rushton and Creamer are winning the midfield battle at the moment Thomas shout from the side sideline is take care of the ball from the Carnarvon bench Bradley Downs looks a good athlete I think he scored 10 goals last season from the right back spot which tells you he's a fullback who loves getting forward Turner Turner goes inside he's trying to set that shot that ball a chance great effort superb effort goes inside two players and gets the shot off superb effort again the switch of play came from down there from creamer Moy o problemau technegol yn anffodus. Nwy'n no, got a glas i adfer y gwylio am un nôl at y gêm rhwng Bae Colwyn a Chynarfon, cyn gynted a gallwn ni. Uh, aggressive tackles going in. And if you're allowed sometimes, if you know the referee's going to give you a little bit of, uh, of a chance to make an aggressive tackle, you're going to make one. Mooney to Gossett. Gossett will try and get the corner. Four minutes absolutely flown by in the opening game of the season. Clanfire Road, Colwyn Bay against Carnarvon. Prima. Danny Holmes looks to spread play. Hill will try and run Donahue down in the corner. Donahue. Drives across as if he was in the uh, penalty area at the other end, and Austin gets a great clearance away. Did well in the end to get away from that. Thomas onside, definitely onside. Clark has to go for goal, has to go from goal from there, puts it across. Just wide of the mark, the big man. Davis gets there. Yeah, it's just couldn't get enough on it, but good counter attack there. Great counter attack. Davis trying to get in the box here, and Clark, to be fair to him, he lifts his head there, picks him out. Just probably a little bit awkward. Hit his knee, really, didn't it? Yeah. It's in between the head, it's in between the feet, it's just around that knee area. You've got to have a bit of luck then, but smart move again. Probably that's the second opening they've had. Yeah, so at present, Tom, the two half chances most probably have come the way of Coynarvon. Yeah, probably, yeah. Downs goes long this time, and Rushton's in acres of space. If he can keep that in, 
Rushton does keep it in. Austin heads it away. Yeah, difficult one there for Nick Rushton. Well, to get a good yeah, cross Rushton, in. Rushton is saying there's two ways of playing. And that was a great long ball from Downs. One ball from the right back, and there, you know, there's a cross at the other end of the field. Yeah, it, it just shows up to me a Dion Don who just can't get back there. There's a big, massive hole there. He's left when he gets forward. He just can't get back. Turner whips it across again. Austin, great header away. He's headed that 25 yards away. Gossett, brilliant from Gossett. Just did enough to make sure it wasn't comfortable for the defender for the home team. I've been really impressed with Cartwright and Austin defensively. Driving in here, Clark, driving in all the way. A little bit of a push, Edwards. Referee says, goal kick. Just a chant from the Carnarvon fans. Well, it's a good bit of business, actually, for Carnarvon, the signing of Zach Clark. He, absolutely, Tom. He's, I mean, he's looked... He's a hard worker, one thing's for sure. Williams. Williams, Bradley. Carnarvon now pushing bodies forward. Austin. Austin. Thought he was teeing up a pile driver then. Cartwright to Thomas. Thomas. Thomas will get a shot off if he can set one up. Great work again. Ball across. Marshews against his old club, Prima. Hill. What a great ball that was, by the way. Just picked his head up and fired it across. Chance now one on one for Hill. Donahue does well in the tackle. Just stems the flow of the attack. Rushton seeing plenty of the ball this afternoon. Great ball from Rushton. Almost comes off the goalkeeper. There was a goal like that in the uh, England ladies scored one yesterday, the first equaliser. Davis. Davis is a handful. And so is Clark. And that will definitely be a yellow from Zero. Clark is a lively performer. Brilliant. They, they he look handy, these yeah. front two. Yeah, they do, actually. No nonsense there. There's no way Clark was going past him there, was there? I mean, they've created... He, he's a great runner with the ball at his feet, this boy, Clark. Yeah, looking for a penalty there. Don't think so. Ed was just running out of, of space. Bradley's over it. Gossett's over it. Dallin Thomas. I've seen... Seen Dion Donahue, Donahue strike one or two of these. He don't look like he's in the mix at the moment. Dallin Thomas looks favourite. Or Gossett, Tom. I think it looks as if uh, Donahue might be he, stepping he's up. He's coming to into it. the mark now. Can he put it around the wall? Bradley, not enough pace on it. But Williams picks the seconds up. Interesting corner given, no argument. So Williams did well there to get his team yeah. that corner. It was Bradley with the effort there. He had to keep a scrambling. Yeah, he did. Joe he, Smith. Yeah. He didn't give him enough credit really. Pretty good save from Smith as well. Didn't Bradley to take the corner. You'd be questioning the wall there, wouldn't you? Really, the, he, the, ref, the goalkeeper's positioned it there. Shouldn't have got round there. Bradley. Stands up to the near post, great header away from Downs. Second header in. Gossett wins his second header. Goalkeeper, is he going to come? 50 50. Just did enough. Goalkeeper just did enough in the 50 50 against the big defender. Holmes. It's four against four. I just think he made the wrong pass then. Hill, though, skips round. Thomas Bradley stand them enjoy their football you know Carnarvon Williams and Edwards Edwards quick free kick referee does well, does well to let him take it Rushton in the acres of space the right back the right winger acres 
great defender from Cartwright. Talk about putting your body on the line, that's a great stop, Tom. I, I don't know if this is tactical, Mark, but do you, do you know, Ian Donoghue, he keeps dropping back into centre-back position. Yeah, where, he, where he's used to playing, yeah, you're so right. And that's why Hill is getting crosses in and so is Downs. Header behind from Mark Williams. Does Mark realise how hard you've got to work in midfield, Tom? Oh, he's experienced campaigner, he's Williams. His, he's working his socks off so far. Donahue, I think. Such a waste sometimes. Off the ball bookings like that. They they tend to cost you at the end of the game. Once you're on that yellow. In it comes again. Turner stands up to the back post this time. Header from Downs. Thomas gets it away. Rushton. Balloons one over the bar. Rushton's old team, Newtown. Suffered a home defeat yesterday. We were speaking to Chris Hughes, the Newtown manager, earlier on. Tom, he said they didn't give their best performance on the opening day. No. Obviously, disappointment there for Chris Hughes and his troops. But they'll be back in action as soon as we just see a replay here. Adam Davis causing the problems. Yep. Well, I would be pleased about five for Stephen Evans then. The young goalkeeper in goals for him, Joe Smith. He was prepared to challenge a big man. Yeah. You know, you've seen a lot of youngsters might have just turned away from that one. But he was brave enough, stopped it going in. Decent game so far, Tom, let's be fair. Great in ball in behind and use the danger again. Clark is just running in behind people. Fullback does brilliant then. Williams. Williams inside, Gossett overlaps. I tell you one thing though, when Zach. Uh, Clark and Davis run the channels. The two centre backs for Colwyn Bay are struggling. Yeah, they need the help of Dan Jones and and Downs. Yeah, absolutely. Because he is t he's enjoying it, and he's most probably the most dangerous man on the on the pitch at the moment. Zach Clark. Thirty three minutes on the clock, Tom. Uh, the, I think the more happier manager at the moment would be the Carnarvon manager and there's their fans yeah I think they've uh, settled into the game look as the you know we all know about Clark from last season but he looks a real a real deal Bradley tackle from behind usually means a yellow card that's what Darren Thomas is going over and asking the referee now Downs didn't really fancy chasing Bradley 50 yards. No, I don't think he did. Donahue has Clark, has Davis's targets. The height advantage is quite considerable as well against Holmes, especially. Donahue. First header from Davis. Clark lays it off. Gossett gets it wide. Mooney. Wants something from it. Gets the throw in. Well played, Mooney. Don't think there's any long throw experts. Williams, great ball from Williams, chance Thomas, oh textbook finish, Darren Thomas the coffee messy, puts the coffees 1-0 ahead, the speed work from Williams was fantastic and the finish was exemplary, 1-0 Carnarvon lead at Colwyn Bay yeah, nicely worked goal there but what a cross so precise that cross right onto Darren Thomas's head Mark Williams showing all his experience here. 
I mean, to be honest, from a defensive point of view, he got in behind him far too easily, but great finish, good leap by Darren Thomas at the back post there. Drills it into the roof of the net. Oh, what a great header, great header. Looks like he's on a springboard. Fantastic header. He'd be well, well pleased with that. Heads it back where it came from. Textbook stuff from Darren Thomas. And the bench, oh, can have a bench, and well pleased with that. Listening to the talk sport the other day, Tom and uh, uh, Tony Cotty was on there from West Ham, same sort of stamp as uh, Darren Thomas, and he finished that like him then, didn't he? What a finish that is. 1 0 ahead. Yeah, certainly a prolific goal scorer in his time, Tony Cotty. And that's Darren Thomas's in 100. 56 games, that's his 44th goal, which is a brilliant record for a midfielder. What a great goal! First Scorio goal of the season. But they were they were working that way, Tom. They were creating the last 10 minutes, they've been the better team, there's no doubt about it. Yeah, I, I think, uh, like I said earlier, uh, any movement away from the, the, the two centre backs he causes them all kinds of problems. Yeah, I think if you're looking at the forward line of Colwyn Bay at the moment and you're looking at the forward line of Carnarvon, Darren Thomas, Zach Clark, Adam Davis, they want the ball. They're feeling good atmosphere at the moment. They're on it again, Davis. I don't think he want to claim that one as uh, his first strike of the season. And he's on target, Mark. Yeah, we did have a big chat, Tom, about Mark Williams' role in midfield. But does he, when he gets it, it could be a yellow. Darren Thomas, as well as a goal, will now collect the yellow. And he moved, he was a bit fortunate there as well. The referee played on. Yeah, no he, doubt. Yeah, he knew what he was doing there, man. He knew what he was doing. Can I have any to just... See out to half time now, 38 minutes away, first game of the season away from home. Point most probably would have been a smart result, but they'll be thinking of three at the moment. Yeah, plenty, of, plenty of time left in this game though. Another ball in Austin. He wasn't in control of that, was he? Could have gone anywhere that. Yeah. You just never mind when you've got big centre halves like that. You just want them to clear their lines as he did. There's Stephen Evans. I'm sure he'd like to be going up for this corner. Strong wind at their backs so though in this first half, Mark. Yeah, definitely. And I haven't really asked the goalkeeper a question, Tom. Corner in. Delivered out. No. Oh, why did the mark? Danny Holmes, I think it is. It is. Yeah, it is Holmes. chance. It is Danny Holmes. It's a great corner from Turner. Danny Holmes is only six or seven yards out, and there's nobody in front of him. You'd be disappointed there to miss the target. Yeah. Should have done better there. Definitely should have hit the target. Good set piece. Evans, hands on head, knows that was his team's best chance of the half so far. Almost 40 minutes on the clock, a Darren Thomas goal gives the away team a 1-0 advantage. Mooney, Mooney's done well at right back. I think he's winning his battle out on this side. He hasn't had to defend as much as uh, Donoghue on the other side. No, exactly. Great head from Marsh Hughes. Great head. Donahue puts it behind for a corner. Later tonight on S4C. Highlights of yesterday's rugby international between England and Wales can be seen at five past ten. Probably look quite dangerous from set plays of the yeah. Seagulls. I think his creamer goes across to the right hand side to take it again and you whip it across the front. Great corner. Austin misses his head and it goes behind. I think he's claiming a bit of the sun was in his eyes then, the big man. 
what do you think is going through his mind uh, Mark yeah I just think you know like you said listen they've come from the Cymru North they've done a great job in the Cymru North even in this first game Tom even in this first 41 minutes you can tell they'll know the standard it's sharper it's quicker it's more physical and there's decent players who can finish goals that chance what Thomas put away is a peach of a goal yeah that was crazy and, and yeah, two, two really very players who got loads of experience absolutely conjure that up but 40 minutes gone Tom I'll give you mine and I think you were on a ball quite a lot earlier on Clark's been the stand-up performer for me he is causing a lot of problems yeah we just see this goal here how easily Williams brushes aside I think it's the defender Tom Creamer really uh, poor defending there I mean Tom if you're a youngster what what do they say the golden rule is head the ball back where it came from and that's exactly what Darren Thomas did oh great touch from Mooney Thomas goes down but again, I didn't know that much has been end to end Tom it's been fantastic but I'll tell you what I don't know whether our stat man has done the fouls I bet you we're up to about 20 to 25 fouls it wouldn't surprise me because I said earlier it's pretty aggressive out there it's been a great first 40 minutes Thomas Holmes heads away they started so well the home team just going into their shell a little bit and players like Thomas have come out of theirs yeah one thing Carnarvon have done they've stopped that they're down the right hand side downs he was rampaging in the first 20 minutes. Since then, we haven't seen that much of him. Yes, so do you think, Tom, they've just told Sean Bradley to sit in a bit more and give Donoghue a bit of cover? Great play from Marshews. Donoghue tracks back, he'll have to be careful. This time it's bound to be a foul, Mark Williams. Where do you want it? There was three fouls in the space of about 12 yards then. And Brandon Markham Jones is taking the initial foul, actually. Yeah, it's interesting to know, know there why they went back to the first foul because they played on and obviously the, the third foul which was awarded was in a better area. Maybe they're not arguing because it's a good angle anyway. Martin! Martin! Big moment in the game this now. 43 minutes, 44 almost on the clock. It's whipped across the front again. Back post, headed across, goalkeeper spills. That's twice. He's got away with it twice so. I'm sure there'll be plenty of balls for into that area in the second half. Bradley, can he run it down in the corner? Edwards, can he get a foul? Bradley does brilliant. Drives into the box. Bradley, can he put it across? Pulls it back. Bradley, Clark, can he get the shot off? Referee will have a look at that. Says no. Play on. Gossett. Williams. That was a pen, Mark. Uh, well, listen, the fourth official, Don below us, is getting right pelters as that hasn't been awarded. So, here we go. Tommy, you are Mr VAR for us again? No. 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 Well done, referee. Well done, referee. He comes in from behind. Yeah. Yellow card for Richard Davis. Hey, can't wait to watch that one back. Can he get us in a... Three minutes added. Where's that come from then, Mark? Obviously, he's had to go at the fourth official for what he thought was a penalty. Our initial thought, to be fair, was could be after seeing it twice, but he doesn't get the chance to look at it twice. No, you're spot on, to be fair. On that occasion, hey. in truth, the referee's done pretty well because he's kept the game. There's been fouls either side. There's been yellow cards either side. Yeah, slight bad. If, if you look at it from that angle, it looks like a penalty. But 
I think he's. Yeah, <laughs> he yeah. definitely thinks he's a penalty. Yeah, I think there you are. I don't need to tell the viewers what he was saying. Thomas, can you take the shot? Thomas closed down again. Williams has picked up a lot of second ball. He's had an excellent half, Mark Williams. Thomas, what a ball that is. Great defending from Danny Holmes. Bradley, a second goal could be really important. Were they to get it now? Gossett, they're winning second balls. And it's a big yellow. <laughs> big yellow on the way. Don't run too far away, Mooney. Thank you, ref, he says. Thank you. Steve Evans is trying to tell the fourth official that he should wow. have been booked earlier. Oh, he was right there because Mooney was fortunate when Darren Thomas got a yellow card. Yeah. He made a foul. Yes, yes. And that was a definite yellow. Stephen Evans is no one having a word with the fourth official down below us while the physio is on. Going back, Tom. This is like a this is like a championship game of about 25 years ago where tackles were flying in and referee was most probably the busiest man on the pitch. Well, to be fair to him, he's letting it flow. He has. Rushton enjoyed the game. Rushton it is. He's holding his knee there, Rushton. Just keep an eye on this. Takes the ball, but does he twist it? Yeah, he twists his knee, look. His left knee and goes down. Straight away, you can yeah. see he's in anguish. Smart move would it be? Look, there's 30 seconds to go. I'd have rushed and off now, Tom, straight in the changing room. Don't bother coming on. Get a, get the physio looking at him, working on him straight away. They need him. Yeah, definitely a good linker player for them. And a 1 0 lead to Carnarvon earned Tom in this first uh, 48 minutes yeah I think so yeah yeah good start from the home side and most probably missed the you know the easier chances didn't they before the goal yeah like I said the home side started off the game really well good pace about them yeah and once Carnarvon settled settled well into the game and uh, are looking quite potent especially going forward yeah especially it, looks like there's, would you, it looks like to me Thomas well, there's more goals in this game in the second period yeah when, when the players get a bit more tired especially the way Colwyn Bay play quite an expansive style of play yeah leaving that two on two in the back like you said throwing their full backs forward is dangerous and up and under will the goalie collect this time goalkeeper collects well this time and he won't be in no rush to get rid of that ball Ryan Woods ex Colwyn Bay goalkeeper And the referee Bryn Markham Jones has had one of his busier 45s in the Cymru Premier, no doubt. Half time blown by the referee. The score at Lamlade Road. Colwyn Bay nil, Coynarvon Town 1. Look forward to seeing you in the second period of this Scorio encounter.
Game Gunta Erioid by Colwyn and Euch Kangra, Cymru JD, Arcovi Zogan Arvon. See the Marin Dan Kids or Dechre on the Narabach. Aramwell Wirt, where he bored and Rioli, no see that a plan. Williams and Cray, Thomas and Coddy, Messi and Taro Ercovis, Morsemel, Ahani, and then he, and a red coil. Choice, you can let Cymru by Colwyn, Ali Hall, he or Gawley, them, or went to the Jones. City Camille Hour or Point Silwebi, and in Seath, they had a Kavle Yoidna and an Hanel Kentakas, or the Dan Hid at a Dachre, can be Kavle, if I call win of a chair. Yeah, by call win of Bossy, but Team Goram, a quarter hour, Gimini Kunta, Kuplaru Hanar Kavle Yoid, Boys all rushed in and Dachre, but in the Lanwato, Rerki the Man in Tim Lon, Canavan and Fortis, Madonna Gick or Smotin, and the Puisanu Dachre, Canavan Doid, Hebby the New with your goal gate, but a Normoto. If I hear Penya the Magan Holmes on a roll, then we've been Darry Holly, Honor Agosse, the new Scoria, Holmes back and Shamatic, not other the Tara Target on game that. I mean, Arthur Covey's just decorative with only they are already game in it now. Tim Lobon of the Radio, you've had a storm or, or game gun tire, Tim Catcher, and Mara Level and Ma, I go wet in other boys, Proviatol and Decker already stamp no other game. Yeah, Arvai, Proviatol and Covino. I'm a goal. I can't goal, have it? Oh, I'm dipping a goal. Mark Williams, Danny Diar, very well done. Savlo Masotol and do. I can't go ahead you. And just blew back. Didn't have a lay. Great head of a heen. I went in so with Oli. Basin dick within a court. Well, my Darren Thomas to get to post in Pekka. Nick Rushton and Ivarkiva. Hurry, William Masotol. Hey, man, a chance, mama. I just submitted that Darren Thomas, my Rick Lover. Can you rush the Rupert when Spiotros Yusk with a medal? On Elena, Darren Thomas, and Calivarkian Howe, two of them. But that's a spread to get to post in Pecha, Nadia and Gunnar, I get on them stop at a penny dinner. Goal of them, delivered at Waldemar, which was put in the them, and delivered in Gavlevin, and though you then live on a kicker spot, and then having trail going on. Can't to can't, does have them question, we're a run. Heriting Gualda de Guida, Dan Reddit, can Sean Bradley, and Tony Bell and all. They make up for a Kunta, Gora, Marian Edwards, and Dodor Ochorn there, I just turn the goisa. Of the Arnava, but here Ryan Edwards and Dodi Van Ruan, Dominic Alka for the other bail, and Tony Goiseva, Mahon and Gick or Smotin. I do doing good pot, eh? Danny Shokore, we're a hill where we have you, a day dim, a bottom barchis through Ramsar, my own who stretched, Pantin Guith and Gallad and Mr. Ruthos, and my appender when yet Angho Irvella. Do you want to go there, Magenti, Magenti Lay, with the ask Rechian? Did he song come into Amvai Colwyn when they're not Guichi the Nub, but Nag the Guidith, and Bidam can have one or hint to the girls hidden hidden? Well, to go up there, she had a prediction as liquidy in the Ruthos. She had a day, but she had a day, and she stick on the Galar all day, and she had a 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 day, and she had um, ma, pwy sygion, yma prawn ma gan gynnwys Noel Mooney o'r gymdeithas Beldroed. Mae'n gyda'r sioned. Ed. Diolch, Dylan. Right, Noel, we know you like to talk. We've got three minutes until the ad break. So, my first question, the uh, investigation or the inquiry into the current structure of the Cymru Premier has been going on for 12 months. Now, what's the latest? Well, first of all, I wouldn't call it an inquiry, I would say. It's more a strategic discussion. So, I think it's clear that we need to have a big plan for this league. It needs a lot of investment, needs a lot of marketing, it needs lots of communication. Even though S. Pederek do a fantastic job, we need to keep growing. Uh, it needs better stadiums, so it's great to see this beautiful new stand here that's opening here in Colwyn Bay. But the discussions with the club, we started late last year, January with meetings up in Aberystwyth. We were up in uh, Airbus a couple of months ago, finishing off them discussions. Uh, and we've reached agreement on a plan. It's got eight pillars in it. Um, we're going to go out to market this week for a new CEO for the league. Um, I'm going to invest a few million pounds into this league. It needs it. And I know from experience of working across Europe that you need to invest in things. You need everyone on the same journey. And this plan that will take us from now until 2030 will bring Welsh football to a new level and this league to a new level. It's fair to say the league structure, Noel, is one of the most anticipated, I guess, questions. Can you give us any update with regards to the current 12-team system? Are we going to see any changes? Yeah, just in the new strategy, there's eight pillars. So you're going to have things like performance, facilities, marketing, community engagement. The structure of the league is something that was discussed a lot. People kind of go straight to it as 12 teams 
uh, not enough and all that kind of stuff. I think from discussions with the club, I think it's fair to say that people, the general direction, it'll be a bigger league probably. I don't know if that'll be 14 or 16. That's not for me to say. There'll be a group set up amongst the clubs and with the FAW and then discussions will go on for a few more months. But I, I think the general direction seems to be that you'll see a bigger league, I would say. Um, and that'll be more investment for the FAW as well. But I think it's time now that we do... Um, we're working closely with UEFA on what this new league will look like. We've meetings actually this week, funny enough, with UEFA on the funding, which is the big thing. I mean, you need to put money into this league. I say you need to build stands like we see behind us today. We need to invest in infrastructure. We need to invest in community developments. The league will probably be a bit bigger, I would say. But again, when the new CEO of the league comes in, she or his job will be to work with the clubs, with a group, using insights, using data. I think what you'll see is probably a bigger league uh, in the future. Finally, Noel, it's been another tricky summer for the Welsh clubs in Europe, you know, coming up against fully professional sides. What do you think we need to do to get to that level here in Wales? Yeah, look, I mean, for me, you haven't walked across Europe with UEFA different leagues. I've seen how, like in Ireland, for example, 15 years ago, we had very few people coming to the matches. We had really bad stadiums. We were not doing well in Europe. And we sat together like we've just done in Wales and put a plan together for how we would do all these things. Now they're doing much better in Europe. They're getting full housing stadiums, much better stadiums. I have no fears about anything here in Wales about what we're doing in the future, except we just need to have a clear plan, which we have now. We need investment, which we have now, and a plan for the future. We won't solve everything overnight, that's for sure. But we've got a clear direction of travel. We've got a group of clubs that are all on the one road together. And I have no doubt you'll see our performances better and better over time. What we definitely need to see is the success we've seen with the national men's team over the last few years. That gold dust needs to come off on all of our teams here. So you need nutrition, strength and conditioning, psychology, preparation for the European matches. All these different things are in discussion at the moment. And we'll have a clear plan for our clubs to get better in Europe. I'm very confident for the future. It was a difficult summer, I think it's fair to say. Haverford West County did a terrific job for us, I must say. Um, but then performances will improve year on year for sure. No, well, appreciate your time. Enjoy the second half. Well, don't know what any at all at Egoil at Isle Hanarong by Colwyn at Carnarvon. I thought we're in.
Chris and all at Isle Hanner Arvin Dechra, Isle Game by Colwyn, Anabari, Penoth Mosnessa, Honan Vu, Heaven, Ru, Nigan Mister or Dice, is the new Dice Ra Esplan of those, mine soon. Os for the Nol, Van Hen, Eni them, Irkovi Zui, Nol and Nick Parry. Welcome back to Lanley End Road in Colwyn Bay. The home team making their debut in the Cymru Premier League are currently 1 0 behind against. Kynavon Town, a wonderful header by Dallin Thomas, gives the visitors the lead and hopefully the second 45 will be as enterprising and enjoyable as the first 45, Tommy Morgan. Yes, yeah, certainly looking forward to the second period. And already Kynavon are in the ascendancy territorially. I, th- I, I would have said at half-time, Tommy, both managers would, eat, would definitely... You say there's more goals in this game. Either end, there's been chances, there's been plenty of corners, there's been sent plenty of set plays, so yeah. much action in penalty areas. Yeah, but actually, if you analyse it, keep, the, neither keepers had any saves to make. Just a one on one from Zach Clark. Yeah. Or well, Adam Davis, there's a seagull. Obviously. Here to support the team. Yeah. Cyril comes out from the back to Danny Holmes Danny Holmes with most probably the best chance of the half for Colwyn Bay with the header Lewis looks along Gossett gets in there first just before Rushton five or six yellow cards a lot of players will have to be careful in the second period chance here for Davis to close down Lewis gets the kick away Bradley's first touch is pretty good Bradley Clark, Clark stands over it, not the greatest of clearance system downs, Gossett, look to stand one up for Darren Thomas, a bit of a misunderstanding there, but again, it's a bright start yeah. for the travelling Covies. Yeah, I'm sure Richard Davis will be well pleased with his team's performance so far in this game. Sean David talking to uh, Noel Mooney at halftime. Tom Noel Mooney mentioning 16 teams. Well, he didn't say actually say 16 teams. He just said it would be a bigger league. Lewis, great clearance for the young goalkeeper. He's put under a little bit of pressure there. Okay, he may go out of play, but he's kicked it 65, 70 yards. Just look a little bit fragile defensively, don't they, Colwyn Bay? Yeah, I just think it, it just looking in front of us now. You've got Zach Clark six foot two and Adam Davis six foot three, and they're pinning the centre halves in. Yeah, the, the, the problem looking at it, Mark, is the distances between the players is too great. Yeah, I, I'm surprised that they haven't gone to a three tom to be honest. And just just got a little sweeper in between them two big centre forwards. Williams. Creamer does well with the ball, the one two with Hill. Choice to play, full back in, great track, track in there from Sean Bradley and Austin. Holmes, end to end stuff. I tell you what, the big man gambled a bit then, Tom. He's put his hand up. Yeah, he knew actually the strike was behind him. You could hear him shouting from here, he's off, and he was. Marsh Hughes, to be fair. Didn't have much supply in the first half, but playing against his own club, I'm sure you you want a bit more of the action. Does it inspire you playing against your old club? Um, yes and no. Don't really bother. You know, at the end of the day, you want to do the best you can with the team, doesn't matter who you're playing against. Average attendance at Colvin Bay last season was 720. I think they may well beat that, may even double it this afternoon. We will find out later on. I think a big miss for the home side today is, is Tom McCready, though, the captain. He, yeah, when, the he, we ca- the yeah, when we came here, they played Cardiff Met. He's, he's looked a you know, really terrific midfield player who yeah, he got on the ball a lot more, didn't he? Yeah. Than they have so far this afternoon. He was, in fact, Tom, the Cymru North player of the season last year. So. He was bound to be a miss. Bradley 
to fire the first corner of the second period. Bradley headed down. He's the big man at top again. Zach Clark, he looks a handful. Here again. Good movement by Clark. Just couldn't direct his head again. Any power behind it. Danny Holmes looking to play out from the back. Goes back to the goalkeeper, Lewis. Darren Thomas is just pinning Ryan Edwards in a little bit there. So the press was on from Kleinarvon. Lewis. Marsh Hughes wins ahead against Austin. Kuma. Offside. Definitely offside. Love to sit, Tom, alongside uh, three or four hundred of the home fans. He's about six six yards offside, and you hear the old never linesman, never referee. Yes, yeah, a uh, normal call from the fans. That I think even Stephen Evans put the flag up. Then you come up into a new league, Tommy. You, I mean, it's obviously a test. What would think would be a success for Colvin Bay this season actually staying in the league um, I think that would be the first thing they definitely want to do um, I think it's it's a big jump isn't it the, the, the difference in psychology because you've been winning week in 25 games yeah. they went you know, on an unbeaten run so this season, you know, say they do lose this first game or the second game or whatever, yeah. and then you've got to recover from that. You have to. Yeah. Yeah, so definitely. So it's, it's that sight. And how do the fans take it? Yeah, absolutely. You, you know, you want them staying with you. Creamer gets it forward. Another touch, and Hill could be in. He's onside. Hill, does he take the shot on or does he? What a great ball. Great defending. He gambled the big man the five, but he's got it out. Matt Hughes was on his shoulder. Yeah, but if you're looking at that, it's a great clearance in the end. It's a great ball in as well. Yes. Excellent play by Rushton. And then that ah, teasing cross there. I'll tell you one thing, defended it exceptionally Superbly. well. There. Hill with a cross. And he just gets a touch before. He does well not to even put it in his own net there, Tom. Tremendous defending from the big man, Ryan Austin. Whipped across chance, gets the block in as well. 20 years of age, Ryan Austin. Stands up to the back post, plenty of space. Holmes, surely, has to put it in third time. Plenty of bodies in there waiting. Gossett just gets ahead of the way. There's a lot of work, Gossett, in the defensive areas where he doesn't get the credit for. Such a hard-working player, Danny Gossett. There he is in view. Yeah, definitely a box-to-box a -box player, Danny Gossett. You know, and with their 11 they have up to date, Tom, I know it's the start of the season, but the Carnarvon Town players, they have some very good Cymru Premier players in there outfit like Darren Thomas like Danny Gossett and the two front men will add a lot to their game yeah definitely and you've got a bit of strength and depth on on the bench as well in uh, Ben Mayer Ben Wynn yeah, Rob, Hughes, Rob Hughes so yeah I'm looking at the, the Colwyn Bay bench so nothing really strikes me as game changers there yeah but like you said I might, be, I might be wrong but well they may be they may have to come into use pretty rapidly should the game stay like this. Not a happy chappy. Stephen Evans, no, below us definitely. I uh, don't think his team started off at the same tempo they started in the, the first 10 of the first period. They were they were eager, they were putting their bodies on the line, they were making challenges. It's a little bit more tepid this half. Thomas trying to close down Holmes. Donahue, good intervention from Donahue. Gossett. Chance. Davis gets a shot across. It wasn't Davis, it was Clark who got the shot across. He hasn't really connected as yet with one of them. 
but he's getting chances and chances. Good battle, great battle. You want your centre midfielder to work hard, he worked hard, and you want your full back to get forward. Great individual battle that. Yeah, good tracking back there. Just seeing Clark again. Just never good again. Yeah, never got hold of it. Bradley, you want to drive into the area and ask questions. Tackle from behind. Corner given against Ryan Edwards. Here he is. The wind is starting to pick up, Tom. Well, it's pretty strong in the first half. At the backs of uh, Carnarvon in the second period. A second goal now would be absolutely vital. Bradley comes across to take the corner. The big men line up, and there is some height in there. Davis, Clark, Austin, six foot pluses. Bradley. Well, where well, he's worked that corner out. He's overcooked it. Overcooked it. I can't hit the five iron that far, Tom. So, I ask you a question, Mark. Do you think that? Colwyn Bay can keep playing this style of football throughout the season in the Welsh Prem. I think it's like what you just said, they'll have to adapt on maybe. It's only the first game of the season, they may come back and get something from this game. But like you said, you, you, when you go up a league, you have to adapt a bit. Williams. They're just winning second ball all the time, can't happen. Bradley. Clark again. Downs. Bradley will chase back, a little bit of a tug. Bradley will take the yellow for the tug back. Downs has been very, very enterprising from right back as he shows again. But what I will say, they were work great from Carnarvon chasing back. Not to let him get away has been very good. Yeah, it's been excellent. And they've obviously, obviously spotted that he is the danger man down this right hand side, as in the first 20 minutes of the game. He dominated it, but since then, seen a lot less of him. 1 0 behind. I think I would, I'd be wanting to send my centre half forward for these three kicks as he comes forward now with the ball and just passes it to Gossett, who's getting more and more influential as the game's going. Thomas. Thomas. Showing all his party tricks, Thomas. Clark, can he get round Holmes? Clark has been absolutely superb since the first minute, and he's having a little go off the ball as well with Danny Holmes. Well, actually, he's forged a really good partnership with Adam Davis. They're both doing really good jobs up front for Carnarvon. Yeah, he reminds me a little bit of the curly lad used to play for you, Dad, but this was 20 years ago. Was it Paddy? He never stopped running, did he? Never stopped running. Yeah, Glinda Hughes, yeah. Corner. Spotted a bit better this time. Header just over the bar. And it's that man, Clark, again. Zach Clark, who's creating a big impression on his debut. Just a bit of a static jump, wasn't it? Yeah, they haven't, they haven't got an answer to the Carnarvon have pressed in seven players there in the Carnarvon half and they're just not allowing them to pass their way out like you said earlier on Tom you may be allowed to pass this, your way out the league below but this is just a bit hotter the pace is a little bit hotter again press Donahue Clark takes it off Donahue after the shot, <laughs> not the greatest thing he's done this afternoon. And Dallin Thomas didn't half let him know as well. The captain drove forward really well there. Free kick given against Mark Williams. Downs, bodies in the box waiting for the cross. Donahue goss it again, picks up the pieces. Ryan Edwards Downs overcooks the cross this time and at present 
it is Stephen Evans who has a few more problems. Scotty games coming up in the next couple of weeks. Barry versus Colwyn Bay on S4C next week. Newtown versus Aberystwyth. Pennebond versus Cardiff Met. And Coynavon versus Connors Key. Chris Suzier, the ex -new, uh, the Newtown manager. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. <laughs> it's only a slip. You'd be really pleased with that, Mark, oh, I'm sure. So, sorry, Hughie, you bought me a cup of tea earlier. I think what will suit as well, Tom, Adam Davis, who scored all them goals for Airbus, he's coming back from a bad injury. If he has a youngster up top alongside him, like Zach Clark, who'll do all his running, it'll, it'll be a great partnership. Bradley. Bradley, can he get the shot off? Goalkeeper's not really set up. Chance here. Davis, can he get out of his feet? Davis gets a shot off. It's 2 0. The big man does get his goal. A debut goal for Davis. Celebrates as it hits the back of the net and he runs towards the Covey Army. Colwyn Bay nil, Carnarvon Town 2. And that could be the goal to settle this encounter. Yes, certainly. Downs dwelled on the ball. Got it robbed off him. And then. It was an easy, well, it was an easy finish, but Bradley was. Yeah, we talked about how Steals the again. ball from there, but he picks his head up here, picks Davis out. Davis takes a little bit of time there, takes a bit of a deflection, sends the keeper off. I think he comes off Cyril. Comes back on his left foot here. It's it, yeah, Cyril. Substitution being made here by Stephen Evans straight away. Tom Puma coming off. And Downey. Sam Downey going on for Creamer. Two 0 to Carnarvon, and I don't think you can say Tom that they haven't really deserved it. They've been good the second half since the second first kick of the second half. They've been again the pressing straight away. They're asking questions. Look, Thomas is running 40 yards there and not giving nothing away. Yeah, just putting pressure, you know, on the two centre backs. Definitely. And they haven't really been able to cope. And the difference being, Tom, would you say if the two strikers were playing the other end, are they the type of two strikers you can just fire the ball up to and they're working for you? Like they like that. Well I'm surprised that's not a foul. Holmes. It's not a bad ball in behind, you know. I tell you what, oh, Austin hasn't done a lot wrong, you know. No, I, I said, Mark, those two centre backs have been, e been excellent. Very sport in there between Austin and Nick Rushton as well. He's 20 years of age, Tom. He's got a chance in this league at least. Yeah, it's a foul, isn't it? It's right in front of the linesman there. Not sure what he was looking at. Jones heads it back in. Bradley, yeah, they don't think the right things in the right areas. Holmes leans in. <laughs> it's, it's a foul just in front of us there <laughs> as the ball's carried on. Absolute foul. Ryan Austin looking to put that ball in behind again. Just lost their shape a little bit here as well. Downs, the out ball again. Gets the shout to travel from the manager. Dan Jones gets a wide. Again, across from the right hand side. Far post. Just over hits it again. Yeah, poor delivery again. Work, Twice now. The world great in craft is there. Just not the quality with our final ball. Fans appreciating it though. Yeah, still getting behind their team, which they need to do. Still half an hour left in this game. One goal. We'll definitely get them back in it. Few uh, bombing forward right backs in this league over the past couple of seasons, Tom. Downs looks like joining the likes of Miles Davis and company. F full backs who love getting forward. Yeah, absolutely. That's brilliant play from Davis. Gossett again chasing every ball. It's 
substitute down, he gets a pass off his good pass as well. Jones. Hunting in packs, so can have him. Absolutely hunting in packs. Davis, can he get there before Edwards? Edwards gets it. Big ten minutes in this game, this Tom. Yeah. Coming up to 65 minutes, so 25 minutes left of this game. He's and looked he... up once, he's looked up twice, and then there was nobody in that box asking for it. That's why it didn't go in. And that's why Mark Williams gets a chance to rat away in midfield and do well again. Done superb in there all afternoon. Davis, Adam Davis, tug back. Does he go himself or does he put the man Clark in? He puts it across. Big chance for 3 0. Clark 3 0 smashes it into the back of the net. The strike force, who are looking a very handy strike force, have got a goal apiece in the last 10 minutes and can have and lead 3 0. Yeah, no chance for the keeper there, Joe Smith. Clark took his time, rifled into the back of the net. Another mistake. This time in midfield by Ryan Edwards. Real good speed work done by Davis, the centre forward there. Brushes him aside, strides forward, lifts his head up. Great ball. Yeah, quality pass. And that's a quality finish as well, Mark. <laughs> Terrific finish. They are looking very sharp in front of goals. And I'll tell you what, they will uh, open a few eyes of other managers watching this game. Carnarvon's yeah. front two, both six foot plus, both can finish with ease when they get chances Carnarvon 3-0 ahead and having a fine afternoon I mean I tell you one thing Mark Cheston was having some good strikers don't let him go on loan absolutely because I, I, I was impressed with him last season when I saw him a couple of times I've certainly been impressed with him this afternoon he doesn't mind the physical side of the game either well he's to be honest Tom he's gone looking for look at the first ball now he's on the press straight away after just scoring that third goal Davis on the press straight away. Well, they're full of confidence, aren't they? Yeah, and Col Colwyn Bay, unfortunately, are just feeling the heat. They'll have better days. Viewers will be able to watch them again next week at Barrytown. Could have uh, Kane McLagan sending off. Yes, they'd be a key part of that game next week. Gossett just put into a good area. 3-0 ahead and they're just firing it down in the corner and getting your team a throw yeah. smart play by Gossett again yeah but it's good running by Adam Davis there and once he drags Cyril up there he's lost just haven't got the pace in the back looks like Rob Hughes will be making uh, an appearance I'm sure you uh, pick up a Mandri yellow guard. Oh, Rob, Rob no <laughs> doubt. He's, Rob will have one. Over the years, he's had more yellows than Christmas cards. Corner. This is a big big 20 minutes now. Just as well as for, for Carnarvon, Tom. But it is for Stephen Evans. He don't want his side to get a real drub in a home on the opening day in front of 1,500 fans. No, absolutely. Except for you know, the opening 20 minutes, they've really struggled in this game, haven't they? Tell you what, they're giving Rob a game. The 11 on the field at the moment, it'd be pretty harsh to take off any of them. Yeah, you're probably looking at, you know, people on, on, no, well, on a yellow card, aren't they? Yeah, I've got yeah, Gossett yeah. as well. Yeah. Bradley whips it in, Downs heads away. Gossett, first bad ball all afternoon. Can I have and come amongst Tom the uh, the serial off-season relegation candidates, don't they? And yet every, every they got good players at the club. Darren Thomas scored a wonderful header. The skipper is coming off for Rob Hughes. That's how well they're playing. Yeah, just seen his goal again. Perfect cross, yeah. perfect header. I think it, we did say at the time, Tom, how important that goal was. And it really has gone to prove that it was that important because there's Darren walking across. I think he has to put walk past his own fans. Yeah, he certainly love that, one. not he? Tell you what, he's made a great option there. Does he walk in front of three or four hundred 
Colwyn Bay fans or does he go back in front of his own army? Take the plaudits. Well done, Darren. He's probably asking him to put a pint behind the bar for him <laughs> for later on. <laughs> not Darren, not Darren. But I think the manager also has to take a very lot of credit here, Richard Fish Davis, because in all departments his team have most probably won at individual battles this afternoon. Peter Williams looks like making an appearance. I think he'll drop in, maybe alongside the two centre halves. Gossett for me has stood out miles ahead this afternoon in that midfield battle. Clark again. Fancies the one on one. Great ball across. Oh, chance for four. It is in. Davis. He'll claim an assist. The substitute will claim an assist as per usual. But it is the fourth goal. And it's the big man gets his second. Co Colwyn B nil, Coin Arvon four. Well, a little bit of fortune there. But initially, down that right hand side, once again, Cyril isolated in the left back position. Zach just whips a crossover. Rob Hughes is absolutely terrific to keep it alive. And then the fall, ball falls kindly for Davis, who just finishes with a bit of coolness there. Hey, that's what I'm saying. If you're a nine, somebody might think that's a bit lucky. That's yeah. a great finish, by the <laughs> Absolutely. way. Absolutely. And but Rob Hughes is Rob... taking more applause than anybody else, as per usual. That was a great improvisation there. Looks like Stephen Evans will run the changes here. Ryan Edwards comes off for Guito Williams. And Steph Edwards, the experienced Steph Edwards. Will no doubt come on at left back for Turner, I think. Oh, predicted scores uh, have gone out the window today. Oh, Mark. absolutely. Nobody saw this coming. First game in the Welsh Premier League for Colwyn Bay. It's been a really, really tough afternoon for them. Yeah, it has. And as the game has gone on, Carnarvon Town has just blossomed. Well, to be honest, they've capitalised on really bad individual yeah. errors, Mark. Now, yeah. well, first game of the season, a little bit harsh. Still, they are the real fans who've obviously watched them every week. And they're just showing their disappointment. Austin. Back to the goalkeeper who's had a pretty easy afternoon. Davis just getting in the way again. Target men, two good target men. They've been just handling the ball well. Every time the ball goes in the last third, it's going back. If it's not going forward to a Canavan man, it's going back to one of them. They're doing their job and they're doing it well. certainly knocked the stuffing out of Colwyn Bay they have New Town at home next week Carnarvon that'll turn out to be a great game as well Chris Hughes here today to watch you know what he's got up against him yeah. Carnarvon's average attendance last season I think was five, 540 they could have a few more on that gossip again on the steel shall we say Hughes could have gone in first time. He get his team a throw in though. Yeah, just dominating the game now, aren't they? The away side. Canavan. 73 minutes on the clock. Half time, Tom. The first half was an excellent, you know, physical encounter. 1 0 most probably at half time. I, don't, I couldn't see this four ahead by the 73rd minute in the second half. I could see Canavan winning, but not strolling. Yes, it's been a difficult afternoon for the home side. Yeah, Stephen Evans will call on the experience of the likes of Danny Holmes and company. Your league is not won or lost in the first day. Great play, superb play from Downey. Marsh Hughes, can he get a goal against his old own club? But He's on loan there, wasn't he, last season? Yeah. Yeah. But as has happened all afternoon, the Carnarvon defender gets a foot in 
as Evans, just encouraging his troops to keep going. We've all been there, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> We've all been on the end of the end of this sort of result. You've got to be strong then and keep your troops going. Hill to take the corner. Colwyn Bay fans just hoping for an opening afternoon goal. Gossett gets it away. Jones puts it back in the mixer. First free header he've had all afternoon, Marsh Hughes. Mooney. And this chase won't be given up. Peter Williams. Yeah, he's chased down everything, Jones. Uh, Clark, he's chased down every ball. Yeah, to be fair, that's what you're looking for, you know, from a striker. Keep going, keep running the channels, keep him putting defenders under pressure. And Richard Davis it looks like he's warming up Ben Wynn down below us now. The boys substitutes could come on and really enjoy themselves. Great for the club, great for both clubs, Tom, but I thought Carnarvon, an opening afternoon, first game of the season, live on Scorio, to play the way they played this afternoon is tremendous. Corner whipped across. Will it be another corner? It is another corner. Yeah. Hughes whipped out one in the near post area, made it really difficult for Carnarvon to defend, uh, for Colwyn Bay to defend that one. Rob Hughes, the short corner's on. Short corner's done. Gossett, not Gossett. Great ball in this time. And a great punch away by the young goalkeeper. I think he's, unfortunately, he's punched the Carnarvon forward in the head as he's punched away. And it's Zach Clark. No, it's on the centre-back, isn't it? It's the centre-back, it's Austin. I'll tell you what, it's a Chris Venables lookalike, isn't he? He looks like Benners. Carnarvon coming in for a drink. Crowd could be a little bit disappointed. 1,411 in the crowd, by the way. Fantastic opening day crowd. And they're still smiling. There'll be better days as the season goes on for Colwyn Bay. There'll be a few uh, teams picked after the game in the pub tonight, I'm sure, Tom. Yeah. It's been, it's been a tough afternoon for the players and the fans of Colwyn Bay. It definitely looks like Ben Wynn and Lewis Lloyd will be joining in a minute. Steph Edwards getting on a bit of the action. Keith Williams, his first touch wasn't great. Danny Holmes just running a ball out of play. Yeah, and you get games which are over sometimes, Tom, after 75 minutes. And this one, I don't think there's any doubt about how this game's going to finish. It's about a battle of pride now. Adam Davis and Sean Bradley can get a map Davis of course on the sheet twice the brace and he'll take the applause another clever man he's walking round the way of his supporters well done well deserved as well Lewis Lloyd and Ben Wynn will enjoy it 12 or 13 minutes and there's Sean Bradley good afternoon's work Yeah, certainly the fans will really enjoy that performance still 10 12 minutes to go yeah and when you're making your first appearance like davis tom and you you know you're banging in a brace new club great feeling there's a number nine in it well it just gives you a lot of confidence going into the season doesn't it can't start off yeah better than that and the midfield pairing of uh, gossett and mark williams who you know, we said at the start, can Mark Williams play in midfield? He's putting a brilliant performance in there. 
tell you what, Tom. <laughs> yeah, I'm the manager. I've just brought you off, Tommy Morgan. You're on a brace on your debut. I won't be talking to you for a week. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I was your manager then. <laughs> <laughs> Holmes, Danny Holmes will keep going. All his experience with TNS, Newport County, Tranmere. Tony has done well since coming on and substitute in the centre of midfield. But again, there's no back step from Carnarvon. Every time a Colwyn Bay player's got the ball, there's somebody in their face. Williams hasn't got to the pace of the game yet. Edwards. Great one too with the centre back Cyril. The cross comes over. Williams gets it away. Volleyed. Austin gets in the way. Gossett clears. And Lloyd just turns the home team around. Opening day, uh, opening weekend results. Tom, uh, good point for Javi and Ponty. Scorio, Monday evening, 9 30. Some great goals on there. Yeah, certainly a uh, good point away for Pont to breathe, I think, at Halford West, so it's just a good run in Europe. Met, again, good win for them as well. Yeah, away. it's a good start, isn't it? Any away win, like Carnarvon's this afternoon on the opening day, is a great win. Rushton does well, gets it wide, Steph Edwards, Cyril, the centre-back gets forward. Cartwright is one of these defenders, Tom, for Carnarvon. You and Cartwright, who doesn't do a lot wrong, you know. No, he's just a steady player. Lewis. Well played. Yeah, done well there, Colwyn Beatty. Yeah, it, it looks like they've, made, they just, they've got the fourth goal now. And Mark Williams and Gossett and the back four just seem to have dropped off now. Don't think they're going to batter themselves now the last 10 minutes and try and get more and more goals. It's yeah. as if to say they let the substitutes in the centre forward go and enjoy yourself. Yeah, exactly. Not too sure what shape actually Colwyn Bay are playing at the moment, to be honest, Mark. Penwin gets the header on. Williams. Rob Hughes. It's just going to a little bit scrappy now. Yeah, with, with all the substitutions. Eight minutes to go. 4 0 away victory by the look of it for Kynarvan. They wouldn't have had uh, many better opening day victories than this, I'm sure. We haven't got the record books in front of us, but 4 0 away from home on the opening day. Doesn't get much better than that, Mark. No, definitely. Downs. Again, driving forward. He's just run into that area all afternoon and just that final bit of quality, just picking somebody out. Maybe he never had anybody to pick out then, but you look at this again. Yeah, he had some bodies in the box, Mark, and he's, he's probably just let him down in the second half is his final ball. Said Newtown go to Carnarvon next week and Colwyn Bay go to Barrytown. It'll be the Scorio live game next Saturday evening. Two teams up, both without a win. Be a keen contest that one. Both teams haven't scored. And Barry will be the, the talisman. Yeah, the ruin, ruin the red card that came McClagan picked up yesterday. Clark. Gets the header. Cyril hooks it on. Keto Williams out to Steph Edwards. Smart play. Consolation goal would be very handy. Austin. Goalkeeper just clears his lines. Rob Hughes showing tremendous work great right then to get back in. Yeah, they're just dropping off now, Tom. 
He'll... I did see the game out now, Andy, let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Downey driving forward, trying to get the cross in. Good work from Downey again. Rushton. Yeah. I just think that the right back downs, you know, lack of effort is just unquestionable. He's run a he's run about five or six miles this afternoon. Just in them vital areas then when he was on the ball. Gossett. Yeah, he was just me joined the yellow club with a couple of minutes to go, down he. Mark Williams goes down and the referee's spot on again. The referee's had a marvellous game, by the way. Marvellous game. Yeah, a little bit of showboating there from Carnarvon. Substitute for Carnarvon. Mark Williams comes off and Ben Mayer comes on. Mark Williams well played in midfield. A wonderful afternoon. Ben Mayer as well. Good player, good player to have at their club played well for numerous clubs in this league and he's a quality player yeah you did mention Tommy about their substitutes bench you're bringing on the likes of uh, Ben Wynn Ben Mayer Rob Hughes quality substitutes coming off the bench yeah certainly you know you want people wanting each other's shirts don't you yeah as a manager the man of the match award will be very interesting for Malcolm because as you said the two centre forwards have been tremendous Matt. Yeah, they're just enjoying it now Carnarvon stride into victory do you say striding or strolling strolling or striding it's a, it's a, it's a modern word Tom Lewis yeah it's an opening day learner for the Colwyn Bay boys yes. they'll come back stronger Evans will come back I'm sure he'll be tough on them in training and he'll say there you are forget what we did last season it's all about this season it's probably a, a wake up call Mark yeah it could well. be could be Did sometimes it? Tom yeah, you yeah. get a 1-0 defeat you might paper over the cracks right you've got to get the cement out for these ones and make some changes. Yeah, I, I see the the chairman sitting over in the far stand. I wonder what's going through his mind. Maybe yeah. they thought. Sometimes I think you 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 can get you know a false perspective because you've been so dominant in one yes. league that you yeah. can come up to this one to the next one and stroll through that as well. And obviously this afternoon they found out the hard way. I think that happens. Yeah, it can happen to everybody, can it? Like they, they like wrecked some of Notts County last week in their first afternoon. Everybody think they, you know, and I'm sure they'll both have brilliant seasons, but it's just that opening day game when you're meeting different people on the day. Hughes. Matt. Mooney, at right back, has just shoved that ball forward all afternoon and he knows the 19 will chase it. Clark. He just about, I think, edges my MOM, Tom. For what he's Danny Gossett very close. Lloyd. How many, how many yellows is that? Must I be don't about know. I don't seven. Know. But I tell you what, the Welsh FA they, they'll be having steak on chips all over the place. They, they must have earned loads of money this afternoon. He still has done a brilliant game. Don't think he's got any of them wrong, mind. No, he's refereed well. Oh, well played. Just a little bit too much, or will he win the battle in the end? Donahue has to be careful in 50-50s. He's on a yellow. Gossett. Clark. Still trying to impress in the 89th minute. Yeah, I think he's... I'd have, I'd have him as my man of the match, yeah, well, Clark. Listen. 
you, I'm just looking in the eyes there of the Carnarvon town manager when he's made that run and he's just clapped him right in front of us there and he's just thought to himself, wow, what a last day signing. Yeah. Zach Clark gets Malcolm Allen's man of the match. And deservedly so. Deservedly so. Like I said, Danny Gossett for me running very, very close. Keita Williams, look at the spread play, just goes out of play, three added minutes. I think it's shown how the game's flown. It's flown past. That spell, Tom, with three goals in about 15 minutes was incredible. It was game set and match in that quarter of an hour. In 10 minutes, by the way, I'm just being told. The lob could be on if he gets here first. He won't give it up. Yeah, there you are. Danny Holmes is asking the goalkeeper why he didn't come and get it and why he's had to run back as far as that. Downs, Marshews. The bodies again. Rob Hughes, goalkeeper's off his line. Clark could be in for a brace if he can take it on now. Clark gets his shot off. Good defending this time by Cyril. Rob Hughes. I think the ref just knows Rob Hughes. That's why he hasn't booked him. It's a surprise he hasn't been booked. Yeah, isn't he? <laughs> he has surprised he hasn't been booked then. Always in the action when he gets on there, Rob. Steph Edwards. Is this the uh, the opening day uh, surprised result of the weekend, Tom? Uh, yes, for me too as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holmes, certainly a fortress for Colwyn Bill last season at home here. Yeah, so great ball, Edwards. Can they get a consolation goal? He puts up to the back post. Headed clear. Volley closed down. Still, they're not the one to give a goal away. To be fair, they kept plugging away. Yeah, they, yeah, they've had a good. They've kept going, which is good to see. That's why they're so keen to get a consolation goal. Austin Downs gets the volley over the top. In the last third, again, he is still trying for his team, but the quality just rises above the bar there. But fine effort from. Downs the fullback. Well, 30 seconds to go, Tom. Like we said, it's a crushing victory, really. Two goals for the big centre forward, Adam Davis, one goal for Darren Thomas, and one goal for the MOM, Zach Clark. All but, in all, says a marvellous afternoon for the Covies. Yeah, absolutely. But again, it's only three points, Mark. Go again next Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, the league is not won or lost in one day, so for the Colwyn Bay fans and their team on the opening day just go again next Saturday evening on Scorio against Barry Town there's the MOM there, Zach Clark there's the manager Richard Davis the Cobbies will be very happy this evening a superb 4-0 away victory against Colwyn Bay look out for the highlights on Scorio on Monday evening plenty to look forward to Nick and Mark stuck about the own Becky, Zanani, the Canaries, and Qualer, Guilano, the Velma Mighty Bod, Penothnos and Matt, Vidigoliath, Ganarvon, Arin Voyard, Penothnos, Rom Saint Jenna, with Reven K. Connor, the Penagonian Ganarvon, Becky, Met, a Bala, a Penabont, and Hapis, Dross Ben, Heavid, and Penothnos, Agoriado, Megis, Dechre, and Amlug, Ini, I went to the Jones, now on points, so we're big, I've been point of Malcolm, and I've done that, so I'm incredibly fun of the Rewi, but I've been just in the Gonda. Wna fwy pryderus na tasen o'n rhewi? Yndi, ac efallai yr unig gysur ydy bod i be ganol ni saws, mae'n y cwblodd nosau fod y chwaraewr i fewn, oherwydd dwi'n meddwl, o'n un disgwyl chydig bach mwy, ac eich efo na chydig bach o'n nerfa pwy o wyr, ond ti'n gallu, ti'n gallu sylweddoli beth i'r safon ar y cae, ac os mae dynad i'r safon, mae angen chydig bach mwy, angen chydig o help. Ie, diddorol, beth aw dros yr wythnosau nesa, mae'n dyfod i'r wrth gwrs. Dyrch chi'n ei gael o fateb ar ôl y cyrniad yna draw yn ei atsioned, Dafydd. 
Richard, llawn gyfer chi adre. Tymor newydd, ac am ffordd i ddechrau'r tymor. Ia, yeah, fantastic. So, I'm a credit to you. I'm going to make a game for you. And I'm going to make a game for you. I'm going to make a game Fantastic results. I'm just going to make a game for you. Yeah, they're going to make a game for you. Good radio. We won't get ahead of ourselves. We're going to make a game for you. I'm going to make a statement. We're going to make a game for you. 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 Yeah, I'm going to have a lot of fun. I'm going to have a lot of fun. Would you like to tip in on the graph of Azak and Scoria? Oh, well, I don't know if I'm going to win the cup. I don't know if I'm going to win the cup. I'm going to win the cup. Yeah, I'm going to win the cup. I'm going to win the cup. I'm going to win the cup. Fantastic. I'm going to win the cup. I'm going to win the cup. Richard, just in glory, I guess you go out and 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 go out Dat kan niet, kan geen arvon. Nou niet dat we dat hebben. Er zullen geen andere dan dat. Er kunnen eigenlijk haar ambachtige gezien door Raul Hanner, Golia en een wedding. Dat er ook door de andere een keer wat je zegt, Provi Popel nang hoer. O wat is er zien team? Zien die dan gozer spreiden? Moet ik geen arvon hier in? Ja, niet jan. Dat is wel. Bij een afstand was was Cosby kan gewoon uit de baag gaan bij Colvin Heavy. Bradley en enige medians. Wat in puiter pas. Dig nog wijs in ik aan Davis ooit. Ond dat er nog een klinikel. Pam door te kavleren na. Dan ik wel die nog zet zo. Pam ik wel kavinia door. Pat Neria is wel ook de reëler in zo'n wana. Klaar gaat Davis. Brilliant. Ond aan typen ook al lag. Dan had hij zelf. Maar dat ik als zo de zelf nu aan. Maar die gaat zo maar. Hij is of rumdreig. Ik weet kalat maar hon. Dat ik die paar hem valt. Dus wat wel aan mijn tree. Aan mijn akker ik al vier van die Davis. Ond pam mij aan in het tweede na. Maar Bob die moet die wel. Ond dan is het een tik weer. Ond yeah, don't even quite in this club performing there. Ah, Martina, man, this club lots of gold and and he did lots of gold. Have it or have it? The moment I'm back in the question is what? With all the ball, man, he did actually. Can you? Quick, call it quick, quick. Ask him to link it up. One of them still runs by call. When's it? Man, who's the matter? He hen. Um, trio and have you can get to the boss? Uh, on his own and can have a key. Game can turn to more. He's a trio ticker boxes. Call a goal can turn, points can turn, trip points can turn. You don't think I'll be beat have you? But he's coming on two third party with us next. Trio call a goal now. Trio but then we travel next. Um, he can be the suit and have a Audi Carta. My own game can man on get he can all points at the sharp. And I wait call a demand at a mass of marvel here in the ruthless and sick it. But see where the tar of you avoid my head. You're dorf, mind to dorf. A couple of stairs. Are Kevin not going heavy? and Chris said by Colwyn man un give no gwir sin carrier club ma and di on du much can he pwy dir club os ti man an ich gemma mar dorf yn mynd i fynd lawr a lawr felly be sy'n bwysig i'r club yma yn di mar dorf dal i gario mani i droi fyny ond ar y cae mae'n eisiau gweld mwy mae'n eisiau gweld mwy o gyfleoedd yn cael ei greu mwy o goli yn cael ei sgorio ac yn amlwg yn ych gymaint o gemau sy'n bosib Ie, yn union Dyna sy'n bwysig o wain Jach bod iawn am y cwmni Bant yn i eto Tymor arall wedi dechrau felly yn uwch gynghrair Cymru JD a bydd sgorio yn dilyn y cyfan Pen oth nos nesa I ni lawr yn y de, mae bai Colwyn i lawr yn y de, mae nhw'n ôl yn y gynglau, mae nhw'n ôl yn y gynglau, mae'r bari yn ôl, dyna lle fyddwn ni.